We've got a wedding gown here, and really this one's in pretty good condition for what I'm usually spotting on. But as you can see here, we got a little grime. Um, it's unidentified by the owner, but it looks to me like it's dirt, just from handling on the front and a little bit on the back, the same thing. But it also has inside the bodice makeup from the day she wore, you know, got that little tan going on. And we also have on the train, and this is where I said this is really light soil compared to what I'm used to. We just got a little grime, a little, looks like a little grass stain going on in the train. All this has to be pre-spotted before it's clean. Um, so I use a, an acidic break down the grass stain and a little oil remover to remove the oils from the grass to help lift the stain out of the train. And this I just proceed to do all the way across the train um, before we get clean. Hopefully in a one time around cleaning. Okay, we've already done our pre-spot on the wedding gown. Moved all the spots that we could. Add a little soap in the extra spots that it needs it. Now we're going to dry clean the gown. Our gown is very delicate. It's got sequins, lace, and everything. We put it in a net bag run by itself with fresh clean solvent. The bag to ensure that not only does it not snag on anything, it doesn't snag on itself. Now we run the dry cleaner on a short cycle. Again, we're running on a short cycle because it's delicate. Least amount of solvent, agitation, and dry as possible to keep beads safe, the lace safe, everything on the garment safe, but clean. like a lot of time and effort but this dress was actually cleaned three times looks like I did it just once but I cleaned it three times besides the pre spotting and the pressing so it's all mainly in the care that you're paying for and the quality versus how long it took me to fold up the dress and put it in the box. 